गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल डॉक्टर किशोर पाटिल फ्रॉम एस एम बी डी डेंट कॉलेज संगम देव देर आर प्रेजेंटिंग पेपर टाइटल असेसमेंट ऑफ द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ व्हेजिटेरियन एंड नॉन व्हेजिटेरियन डाइट ऑन क्वालिटेटिव एंड क्वांटिटिव चेंजेस इन सलाइवा एंड इट्स रिलेशन विद द ऑकरेंस ऑफ डेंटल गेम्स beginning with the introduction saliva is critical for the preservation and maintenance of oral health saliva buffers remineralizes lubricates and cleanses oral tissues the salivary defense mechanism rests mainly on the salivary fluoride ph buffering capacity and its organic and inorganic components any alteration in the quality and quantity of saliva can affect the integrity of oral tissue including tooth structure to and leading to various sequelae including the dental caries vegetarianism has its origin in uh, 3200 bc when ancient civilization started adopting vegetarian diets based on the belief that abstaining from the meat consumption would facilitate uh, in recurrence in, in india another important cradle of vegetarianism that this practice was also associated with the fact that hindus see cows as a sacred and uphold the non violence principles currently the worldwide pre uh, prevalence of vegetarianism is not uniform but asia is having the highest prevalence and among asia india is having the highest prevalence that is 40% of the population is vegetarian the exclusion of meat is the principle of vegetarian diet however there are many variations of it the most radical of which is veganism which allows only plant food lacto vegetarian vegetarianism allows plant foods along with the dairy products while lacto ovo vegetarianism adds eggs to the diet now dental caries all of you know it is a multifactorial disease resulting from the demineralization of tooth enamel with subsequent caries formation over the period of time which involves the triad triad that is having diet host and microbial flora the outcomes of the type of diets on the oral health status could be various so far there has been no research dealing with the influence of type of diet on the properties of saliva and its correlation with the dental caries hence the current study was done highlighting to plan the providing uh, the baseline data for the prevalence of dental caries and its influence of vegetarian and non vegetarian diets on saliva properties and its occurrence on the dental caries so that it can help plan preventive strategy strategies for the population at greater risk for the development of dental caries vitalis methods this was pilot study done on 20 patients each of vegetarian diet and non vegetarian diet the demographic and dietary habit data was collected saliva collection and analysis was done for the estimation of salivary fluoride ph and buffering capacity the dmft index was recorded for the occurrence of caries and the data was all the data was recorded in ms excel sheet which was later on subjected for the statistical analysis vegetarian status was determined based on the self reported intake of foods that differentiate vegetarians from non vegetarians informed consent was obtained from all the subjects and patients with history of tobacco mm -hmm. use pregnant women the subjects who have undergone radiation therapy patients who have taken medication that affect the salivary secretion while patients with history of systemic disorders all those affect the salivary fluoride and salivary properties they are excluded from the study with the aid of mouth mirror explorer cotton rolls the uh, the patients were uh, subjected for the clinical examination for the recording of dmct index the natural light the age of the study group was ranged from 10 to 65 years of the patients the analysis of saliva it was done for the uh, it was done on the same uh, uh, time of the day to avoid the diurnal variation the patients not allowed to eat drink or chew or smoke for 60 minutes before the collection of saliva the salivary fluorides the unstimulated and uh, stimulated saliva was collected and after collection of the saliva the fluorides was determined the salivary ph and buffering capacity the ph of the saliva was measured by handheld digital manual ph meter and the buffering capacity of the saliva were determined by adding 3 ml of 5 ml of 1 uh, 
is one uh, is cl to one ml of the saliva. The mixture was then dynamically shaken and then centrifuged for one minute, allowed to stand for ten minutes, and then final pH was measured with the help of manual pH meter. The patients having symptoms of oral uh, dryness were excluded from the study, as we already told. The site of the dental caries was recorded using the DMFT index, which was based on the WHO modification 1987 criteria. The data was acquired in the Excel sheet and subjected to the statistical analysis. Descriptive variables was recorded. The results, the mean DMFT index score of the people with non-vegetarian diet was found to be 3.19 and that of the people with vegetarian diet was found to be 4.98, which indicate the significant association between the type of diet and the presence of dental genes. Also, the unstimulated and stimulated salary flow rate buffering capacity was lower in the vegetarian diet. The pH value was slightly higher in the vegetarian diet. All these favors for the occurrence of dental genes. The present study is a pilot study and it will be continued to include the large number of patients. This was the results of the study, the unstimulated sal salivary flow rate in vegetarians, non-vegetarians, stimulated salivary rate, both they are uh, slightly large, uh, higher in the non-vegetarian diet people. P uh, pH of the patients of vegetarian, non-vegetarian buffering capacity is poor in the non-vegetarian diet people, while the carriage occurrence is less in the non-vegetarian diet. Now the discussion in population, the components of improving oral health involves collecting the information on oral diseases, evaluating the data that aid to comprehend the need of the community documenting the high-risk groups and planning the management and preventive strategies for the community. With the growing trend towards the plant-based diet, that is vegetarian diet, there is an increasing movement towards the vegetarian eating in different population groups, including the adolescent. Vegetarian diet mainly excludes the meat, seafood, and products containing both, and may include eggs and uh, dairy products. The vegan diets eliminate all the animal products. There is much documented proof of about general well-being of uh, well-being benefits from the vegetarian diet. But the Finnish study advocated that nearly about 76.9% of lacto-vegetarians had dental erosion as compared to no erosion in the age match controls and that the salivary pH and stimulated flow rate was lower in the lacto-vegetarians. A study by Rehmetul and Hill proposed that theoretically there may be some advantage in reduced caries level from the vegetarian diet. And this may be due to the indirect relation and associated with the vegetarian lifestyle characterized by monitored and cautious intake of the food stuffs. The Stockhaven et al. suggested that vegetarians had a significantly better oral hygiene but at the same time contradicting also significantly more carious regions than the non-vegetarians. As intake of foods was considerably more dominant in the vegetarians than non-vegetarians, it might be established that carbohydrates within the foods, they are accountable for the higher number of carious regions. It has been proven that dental caries is a process that occurs due to formation of acid by fermentation of sugar from the acidogenic bacteria, which leads to the enamel decalcification. However, with the buffering action of saliva, this acid is usually neutralized and the dental carriage is not permitted to occur. Once the fermentable carbohydrate was not added to the saliva, fermentation was replaced by putrefaction and acidity was replaced by alkalinity, and no decalcification of the tissues, food tissues was observed. Nutrifaction is the result of protein consumption, so it is suggested that the persons consume plenty of protein-rich foods as it is in the non-vegetarian diet, but develop less quantities of acid in their mouth and rather be secured from the dental cases. This might be the reason for fewer number of cases among the non-vegetarians, that is the mixed population diet people. When diet is deficient in nutrients like vitamins D, B, B12, B2, B2 B12, calcium, which are plentiful in the non-vegetarian diet, 
vitamin deficiencies can occur easily in the vegetarian. The deficiencies of vitamin C, D, calcium can cause teeth become softer over time, which can make the tooth more susceptible for the tooth decay and parental diseases. Conclusion and implication this research would highlight the correlation between the type of diet, the saliva properties and occurrence of dental caries and can help to plan the preventive strategies for the population at greater risk for the development of dental caries. Thank you all for the patience for listening.